Okay, enlightenment. Let's have a look at it. We have to clear the six or seven chakras and open up the top so we can actually start receiving the infinite divine wisdom we can access in the present moment because it's always all around us. We are energy, we just got to attune our body to the universal environment around us. Best way I've found for that is to align myself and understand and learn the five element theory with Ayurveda or Chinese medicine. Up to you. I prefer Ayurveda, it's in English and it's easier to access. And I like yoga. It fits in well with Ayurveda and yoga. So, and people trying to tell me or anyone who's achieved enlightenment how to do it is essentially like a day release prisoner still stuck in the perception of the stories of the emotional centers and the chakras a day release prisoner or perhaps a prisoner escort so they've got some knowledge helping other people going up to a job site on a beautiful temple or cathedral and telling the master architect who's built it and live there for three and a half plus years how to do it <laughs> it's hilarious they have zero idea how to do it because it's essentially you have to embody it to have any clue of what it's about it seems simple doesn't it I mean, it's true it's truth because say unless you've got access to eternal truth and wisdom outside of the firmament which is stuck in their own curvature of their own perception they're absolutely blind. So that prisoner is absolutely blind. It's pretty funny. It would happen, what would happen if a blind prisoner on day release turned up to the job site and told the master architect, this is wrong, this is how to do it? Couldn't even see it. How long do you think they'd last on that job? Certainly wouldn't gain any respect. And until we get those parasites and all that gunk out of our body, we don't have any conductivity. So that person is dense and dull, and essentially blind and stupid. No, face it. Own it. Flush it out. Get it out. Own it. And of course, if once all these things are in there, and we see from the Matrix movie when uh, Mr. Smith, the cop, puts in that little robot that's like a parasite into Neo's gut and his belly button. Well, of course, that symbolizes all the sugars and all the toxins and all the stuff from the matrix of society that we used to eat going in there and then thriving, going all around. Of course, in a later scene when uh, Trinity comes in to the, they're in the car and Neo, through some resistance, because that's what parasites do, they resist every decision and every belief system because they're in the nervous system, totally controlling the individual entity completely comes along with the machine and goes, find it, and then you start to see that little sentinel parasite, symbolic for what's actually in our body. And without releasing these sorts of things, we're always prisoner to it. So enlightenment is just impossible until we start cleansing rectally. And Jesus tells us the same sorts of things in the same gospel of peace. If we're blessed by the angel of water, i.e. an enema, then all the abominable filths of Satan can flush out. I call it parasite shite. Same idea, slightly different word. And of course, that was the original baptism. Because you're feeling like, oh, I've had a healing miracle, because you just got rid of a whole bunch of emotional stuff and all that gunk that was, we think was controlling us, because it was. But the external version of that means we think that we're victim and powerless because society is controlling us. Well, yeah, they are inside through vibrational frequency with Wi-Fi and all the different electrical signals that we don't see as reacting with these heavy metals and density and parasites that feed off heavy metals and fungus and parasites and control things through our, through our gut. So until we actually take some stability and flush that stuff out, then we'll always feel like a little victim controlled by the system the matrix. Who wants that? That's not as much solely development and individual empowerment in that. No, no. So, feel free to have a look at a colonic or a series of them because after the first one you'll want to keep doing it because you'll realize the acidic mucus plaque and parasites and stuff that comes out and the resulting massive clarity. Yeah. Worth having a look, huh?